What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Loving Climate where we help singles find love and save the planet. This is our singles edition where we are going to interview singles to ask them about their dating lives and how they are addressing the environment. So I'm so excited to invite our special guest today, Miss Planet Earth, onto the stage here at Times Square. Come on down, Earth. Hello. Can you tell us your name and why you are here on Love and Climate today? What's up, everybody? I'm Gila the Earth, your favorite planet, sexiest planet. And I'm here because I've been in an abusive relationship with humanity, and I'm looking for a mankind to treat me right. I love it. Well, we're so honored to have you here on Love and Climate in Times Square this afternoon. So tell us, what kind of love do you feel like the Earth needs right now? I need a regenerative love. What wet. does that look like? Wet? Wet. Oh. It's wet. It's biodiverse. It's full of sustainability and growth and life <laughs> and green. I love that. I love that. We like it lush. We like it moist. Yeah. We like it thriving. Flowers popping. What do you consider some green flags in a person? If they have a compost system, if they're composting, definitely a green flag. If they're standing up for oppression and social justice, that's not good for the earth. So they need to be a social justice warrior as well as a compost king. <laughs> what are some red flags on the opposite end? Like you see someone do something and you're like, that's sus. Oh yeah, definitely drilling for oil um, or working for a company that does. Uh, anybody who is associated with weapons manufacturing or complicit in genocide. Reasonable. Not, yeah. not cute. Not cute. Not no. hot. Not hot. What is a fun fact about you that you think more people need to know about? I am a runner and I am really fast. I go around the sun at 67,000 miles per hour. So I'm basically super fast. I'm, I'm round, but I can move. <laughs> you know, you're like fundamentally all life depends on. How yeah. does that feel? What is, what's that like? Um, it's really hard, especially since I feel like I've been taking some L's in the last century. Like 50% of my biodiversity is gone. It doesn't look like it's getting much better. So I'm really trying to like, you know, focus on me and the single life and just kind of get back to me and healing and, you know, growing some more trees, dropping these seeds. I just, you know, want to see more life happening. So maybe take out some humans here and there. Hopefully <laughs> not, no one need to do that. But like, look, you know, I'm in like Earth's healing era right now. We love reconnection with self. What are some ways that you like to be cared for or taken care of? What, wow. is, your, what is your princess treatment, Earth? Honestly, just let me be. Like, just leave me alone. Like, <laughs> just like, you know. Stop like, hitting my line, yeah, literally. literally. Stop drilling my line. Yeah. Stop hitting my line. I like it when you take little cute walks and make trails and stay on your trails and just kind of like take care of the woods, like check out the trees, like get to know what I'm giving, like really honor what I bring to the table, you know? <laughs> Work on preserving that because I'm a bad and like everything I do is for your benefit ultimately. Like I provide everything. So like I want to be taken care of sometimes. Just like clean up, clean up some twigs you see. Like, you know, plant some really cool trees. Earth deserves to be in its soft girl era. Admire me and you know, build your society around helping me thrive basically. Like, I love it. Don't just like look at me like I'm some like, you know, oh like, look at the national park, oh wow, she's so beautiful, but then you're like trashing me. No, I want you to live on me and inside me, but to really honor me and to like make your life harmonious with my life. I think Earth of all people de deserves to be the passenger princess here, and we need to be in the driver's seat of voting correctly, of taking action correctly, to advocate for our communities correctly, so that way we can show up for the treatment that you deserve. Yeah, I want y'all to be building communities, taking care of women, taking care of each other. I want to see communal food kitchens. I want to see 
raising people up, housing for everybody. Everybody deserves a green home. Everybody deserves a green job. Let's teach kids about plants, not brands and like crazy billboards. Like we need to be surrounded by life, birds, bees. Like I'm getting hot, okay? I'm getting hotter every single day and I really need y'all to step it up before it gets dangerously hot, okay? Like some, at some point, Earth is gonna be too hot for you humans. So you have a window of opportunity here <laughs> to get with this. It's your last chance to get with the Earth, so you better step it up. What do you feel are like eco-friendly habits that are very sexy, where you're like, ooh, like that makes me hot in a good way? Mm, yeah, meditating, slowing down, um, very eco-friendly. You don't really need to do very much there. Uh, Literally, deep just be. Yeah, anything that you do is going to cause some sort of consumption. So like, you know, degrowth is I think a really great thing to do. Building a community, really reaching out to people, seeing what they need, providing food for people that's grown locally, preserving food, and making sure you know where all your stuff it comes from and what it's made out of and where it's going when you're done with it. Planet Earth's got a few toots got some musical talent, so I wanted to know if you could maybe drop a little bar for us. Just Off the top of the ice caps? <laughs> maybe a little love and climate, a little, yeah. little something, a little something. Hey, the earth kind of scary. She's also kind of hairy. We here in Times Square, look at that over there. It's billboards, ads, and screens. What does the earth really need? The earth needs you to plant some seeds in the ground. That's what she wants, yeah. The earth is getting hot, uh. Give it everything you got. Oh. oh. Yeah, the earth is so cute. Uh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> the earth, the earth, the earth. Yeah, she's so great. Hey. Earth and earth and earth. Love and climate. Hey. <laughs> what is your advice to people out there that want to find love and save you? Keep finding your people for sure because we're out here. And yeah, if you see like a hottie at the coffee shop with their own cup, that's a great opening line, okay? Just like, oh wow, I see that you brought your own cup. That must mean that you're really good in bed. So, <laughs> right. I mean, that's basically the criteria. So The math is mathing on that one. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Earth, for joining us on Loving Climate. This, this is Loving Climate. Climate. Catch, Catch the, the next, next episode. episode.